hello everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm talking a little low right now it is currently 5 45 in the morning right now i'm about to take a pregnancy test um, my period it's late so yeah i figured let's just go ahead and take a test so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do this i've been like prolonging this because you know once you take this test like it becomes real so i've just been like so nervous to take this test but Okay, we're gonna do it. I am so nervous. The thing is going, so I'm gonna assume that it's good. I don't know how long I was supposed to leave this in here for. Um, I'm gonna put this on the counter. I'm gonna cover it with this so I don't see it. I'm gonna set a timer for like three minutes. Me and Brandon were not trying right now. Like we said that we wanted, well, I said, <laughs> Brandon, mainly me. I mainly wanted to wait until after my birthday. So for one, I could celebrate my birthday and have fun. Although, you know, celebrating my birthday and pregnant will be fun too. But I really want to go to Disneyland for my birthday. And I would definitely wouldn't be able to go to Disneyland for my birthday if I'm pregnant. So that was like the main reason, which I know sounds silly. Okay, we still have a minute and 30 seconds. Um, I don't want to sit here and ramble your guys' ear off. Okay, my three minute timer just went off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at this. I don't know which way I have it. I'm pregnant. What? Okay. I don't even know how to react right now because I did not think that this was gonna happen right now. But we are most definitely pregnant. I don't have to take a digital now though. I have to take a digital. Okay, which one's the digital? Okay, here we go. One. Okay, it is going. I'm gonna put the lid back on here and I'm gonna let this sit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, I definitely didn't think that this was gonna happen right now. Like, I didn't think that we would get pregnant this soon after having our DNC. Like, we literally just had a DNC and November. I got my first period. I believe it was my first period in December, which was a weird period. My period in January was weird, and so that's why I was just thinking like this period is probably just being weird again, and that's why I was late. But obviously not. So I am praying to God right now because we've had three failed pregnancies in the last like two years now and I definitely do not want to go through another one. I know God's not gonna put more on me than I can bear. But I just I'm just praying to God right now, praying over my world, praying over this baby, praying for a healthy baby, praying that everything is going to go good with this baby, Father God. Um yeah just praying that everything is gonna be good with this baby. I'm not telling anybody this time around. I'm probably gonna wait until Brandon. I don't know, this afternoon. You guys, I am in denial and in shock right now because I just did not think that this was gonna happen right now. All right, what are you doing? Okay. Yesterday morning. No, since yesterday morning. So that's a lot. 
I usually play like for a couple hours. <laughs> I've known for almost 48 hours. Oh man. And I haven't told anybody. Yeah. Nobody wow. knows. I was like, what is this? I was like, nobody knows. Like, is this a toothbrush? Yep, I got this toothbrush. Electric toothbrush. Pregnant. And I took two tests out of the other one. The other one, the line's so dark. I was like, oh, I wonder how far along I am. Yep. Well. Hope you like your present. I love it. We're getting ready to head to our prenatal appointment. I figured I would get a little dressed up for it. So yeah, we're literally getting ready to go. Literally right now, we're walking out of the door. All right, we made it into the room. I am all changed. We got the ultrasound machine over here. Sam is over there. Just waiting for the doctor to come in. I'm starting to get chest pains. I'm getting really anxious. But yeah, praying that we see something on this screen. Really cold gel, lots of vaginal pressure. My apologies. And as soon as I have the right location, I'll show you. Okay. All right, we have a little embryo. Yeah, excellent. We'll measure right now, right there. Yeah. And then I'll check right now just to make sure there's only one, okay? Okay. She's like, what's going on? <laughs> and that's in the uterus, okay? okay? Do we see any kind of flicker? Well, I gotta check for another one okay. first before I focus okay. on this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to miss anybody. One. Okay, I only see one. All right, now I'm gonna turn towards me to see if I okay. see a little flicker. Okay. Because it's pretty small, so it could be pretty difficult to see. And if not, I'll use this um, other thing we have to look to see if there's color flow going through yeah. a little embryo. So let me just get a quick measurement before I can. Did you get to see the images at all when they did the... No, okay. I see just the yolk sac. Yeah. I didn't really see anything else. So definitely more than what they saw last time. First measurement I just got right now was six weeks and two days. Okay. So not consistent with your period, mm -hmm. but consistent with the measurement they yeah. got. Yeah, yeah. So it might just be a little off on the ovulation. Okay, let me do the, the color to see here. Sorry, just a little tough when they're so little. Sometimes you can't see. So there's a little bit of, I know there's a lot of blue. Yeah, the blood flow. Yeah, so there's a little bit towards that end there. Okay. So that's a good sign. Okay. But we'll want to repeat an ultrasound just to double check so yeah. that we could actually see. Yeah. I'm trying to, with my eyesight, you know, to see if we can see a little flicker, but it did show some color flow there, okay. so that's a good sign. Let's get a couple more pictures here. Yeah, so definitely more than what they saw. Okay. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, they definitely didn't see an embryo, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah six weeks, two days again. Okay. Yep. So there's the little jelly bean. Are you looking at just the circle part, or is that still just the yolk nope, sac? No, so this, so this is the gestational yeah, sac. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the right little there. embryo right okay. there. Yeah, and then this is the, the yolk, yolk sac. sac. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it is March 19th today, and I am eight weeks and two days pregnant today, and I'm actually headed to my eight-week ultrasound appointment. Right now, I'm super nervous, super anxious, like my heart is beating out of my chest. Just because, you know, we've had three losses in like the last two years, so I'm just always just very anxious, very nervous going into these appointments, but I know God has me. Um, I know he's not gonna put more on me than I can bear and just trying to be um, positive and just knowing that whatever outcome, you know, everything is going to be okay. But we are actually running late, so let me get out of here. But All right, we made it in the room. Everybody's here. About to get undressed from the waist down, but she thinks I may be able to do an, an abdominal ultrasound today and not a vaginal. So I'm really praying that they can because I know nobody likes doing the vaginal one. So we shall see. But yeah, we're just waiting on the doctor to come in. Doctor just came in and she just told me that there was like light fetal heart rate last time. We didn't really see a heart rate or anything last time, but there was blood flow over the baby. So now I'm even more anxious because I didn't even know that was like a thing. So yeah, we'll see. She went to go grab the medical assistant so then we can do the ultrasound, but that makes me nervous. That's 
of pressure, okay. Lots of pressure, lots of pressure. this here, mm -hmm. but I don't see a heartbeat. Can you grab another provider just for like sure. a verification? Because at eight weeks, we mm -hmm. would expect some growth. Yeah. I'm so sorry, my dear. And then it looks like it was probably right here. My suspicion is this is probably what she was measuring. Oops, better than last time. Mm, measuring it like six, six weeks, days. three weeks, plus or minus. I mean, it can always be plus or minus a day or yeah. two. Like, so it looks like it's roughly the same size mm -hmm. as when. All right, you guys, I am home now. Um, as you guys can pretty much already tell from the previous footage, I lost this baby. So I am currently waiting on the doctor to call me to do a DNC. So yeah, I have no idea when they're going to be able to get me in, so just waiting on the phone call right now, but I feel like I'm in complete shock right now. Um, I'm still trying to process all of it. Um, I really wanted to stay strong like in the doctor's office this time because we had Janae with us and I didn't want to be in there like crying my head off like Brandon was trying to hug me and I was like, please do not hug me because I'm going to break down. Uh, I maintained my composure. Um, I literally got in the car and like I called my daughter and told her what was going on. I hadn't even told her that I was pregnant yet. I basically haven't really told anybody that I'm pregnant yet except for my mom and my stepdad and our neighbor slash my friend. Um, she knew that I was pregnant other than that and Brandon knew that I was pregnant but other than that nobody else knew that I was pregnant so I've been just trying to call people and let them know what is going on but yeah i still feel like i'm in shock i haven't really had much time to process it because life keeps lifing and momming keeps momming because that never ends because literally right after i left my appointment i had to run and get bell from school came home right now and um they ate and stuff and now i'm kind of having a moment to process i guess some things and sit here and talk to you guys but yeah i don't know I just, I don't know, um, like I'm not shocked that this happened because this just kind of seems like it's the norm for me now, which sucks, like this shouldn't be the norm, like I shouldn't have had four, well three miscarriages and one atopic pregnancy, like I shouldn't keep going through this, I mean, I don't know, I, me and Brandon are going to have to figure something out because I just don't know if I can keep going through this cycle of like, getting pregnant so we have no issues getting pregnant it's just I literally can't get past six weeks and two days like the baby that we lost back in November I was I believe six weeks and two days when that baby stopped growing as well so and then again like my body is not passing the baby it's been two weeks since my last appointment and the baby hasn't passed so I don't know you guys um i know we were able to get pathology results back with the last one so i'm hoping we can do the same for this one as well and i'm wondering if it's just another chromosomal issue i literally did genetic testing um a couple weeks ago too and i literally just got the results back for excuse me and i literally just got the results back for that like a couple like i think on friday or something and all my genetic stuff is fine and Brandon hasn't done his. I'll see if he's going to want to do his. It's just a blood test that you do. But yeah, I don't know. Um, sounds like somebody's coming in my room. The kids, the girls are in the loft playing. I'm trying to film this right now. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like we need to pretty much try to figure out something. Like I don't want to just keep getting pregnant though and going through this cycle of getting pregnant and then baby making it to six weeks, two days, and then, you know, having to get another DNC. Like, I don't want to keep repeating this cycle because this is what the cycle is seeming like now, <laughs> especially well, for these last two. My first miscarriage, I literally tested, and then, like, a couple hours later, I started bleeding. And so that baby literally just passed on its own. Um, the atopic wasn't a topic, so that's just a different story. But then the baby that I lost back in November was the same thing. Literally made it to six weeks, two days. 
and then had to get a DNC because the baby just wasn't passing. And that is the case again, which is just crazy. It's just like history is just repeating itself. I don't know. It's so crazy to me. But. All right, but yeah, I will update you guys when I hear back from the doctor. All right, you guys, it is Monday, March 25th, and Brandon and I are headed to my DNC appointment. Uh, sorry, the lighting is terrible right here. I'm literally sitting right in the sun, but um, Brandon went inside of Starbucks right now to grab me some food because I have to eat before the procedure. But the procedures this morning, I'm just wondering if they're really going to be even still doing the DNC because I started spotting on Wednesday. My appointment was on Tuesday and I started spotting on Wednesday and I basically haven't started stopped spotting since then. And I had a pretty good heavy blood flow yesterday. So I don't know. I know they do an ultrasound before, so I'm just still wondering, like, are we still going to have a DNC? Um, I called OBGYN, OBGYN yesterday and talked to them and told them what was going on. And they told me to still come in today and all of that. So we will we will see what happens. But yeah, feeling really nervous. I hate going into this stuff. I hate taking all the medication that I have to take. Like I have all of my I have all of my medication here with me. Um, so yeah, I have to take like Narco. I have to take an anxiety medicine. They have ibuprofen, and I think that's it. Yeah, three medicines. I think last time I got like Tylenol too, but we'll see what they say. But yeah, I will keep you guys. I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated um, as we go along. Mm -hmm. Is still some like yeah. tissue in there? Probably about the same as before. It looks different though. Hmm? Does it, it look different, different to you? Yeah. Okay. So we can discuss, you know, what you prefer to do, okay? Mm hmm Because it is, some of it's still there. Yeah. So it looks like it hasn't like completely, you know, yeah. passed, okay? All right, hello everybody, just checking in i've been asleep for like the last six hours which is crazy yeah we literally came home i um fed janae some lunch fed myself some lunch and then i went and put her down for a nap and then like i woke up like around like three ish and then like literally fell like right back asleep and now I'm up again and it's 7 o'clock. <sighs> I think those drugs really knocked me out, but I think I really needed that rest. Like, oh my gosh, I really needed that rest so bad. But overall, um, procedure went good. It was actually really fast. It was much faster than the last time. Less painful than the last time. Um, she really numbed me up. She's like, I'm going to give you a little bit more extra numbing cream or a numbing shot. And so um, I didn't feel much, but like the procedure was just so fast this time. I feel like it was like five minutes, whereas like the last one felt like it was like 20 minutes or something. But yeah, it was pretty much an interesting morning though. I was feeling kind of off all morning. Like when we got there, they brought me back to fill out like some consent forms. And then they were like, oh wait, don't fill out the consent forms. The doctor wants to talk to you. And I was just like, okay, like what's going on? So then, we, then they brought me into an actual, um, you know, office visit room and talked to the doctor. She wanted me to do an ultrasound, so I did an ultrasound since I had been spotting and bleeding and stuff all week. So they finally brought me into the actual room where they were going to do the procedure and had me sign the consent forms and had me take all of my medicine. And then about like 30 minutes later, they started prepping everything and getting everything all ready and then literally I was done in like five minutes and on my way out the door but yeah overall everything went smooth I don't even feel any pain right now but I haven't really gotten up and moved around too much I felt a little ache like down here right now but nothing crazy um so I'm debating on if I even want to take another Norco because those, th those things are so strong so debating if I want to take another one of those 
But yeah, I'm about to actually go downstairs and see the girls. I haven't seen them. Um, I haven't seen Nay since I got her down for a nap like around 1. I haven't seen Belle since we dropped her off at school at 9 this morning. So I'm going to go downstairs and hang out with them for a little bit and probably figure out some dinner. I don't even know if they've eaten yet. I'm sure they have. I have no idea what's going on. Brandon's done an amazing job at keeping them out of the room and downstairs. Like I've been just like in and out of sleep. Like I've heard them and then in and out. I think just because I was so drugged up. Um, but yeah, I definitely needed that sleep. Like overall, I definitely needed that. I haven't slept in days. So that was great. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be continuing any more of this video. Um, definitely close to another chapter. Um, me and Brandon are still trying to discuss what we're going to do next as far as if we're going to have another baby or not. Um, IVF has been thrown on the table, which I really don't know if we want to do that. So just, it's going to be lots of talks and things, but I know for sure I'm going to give my body a break. We won't, we will not be trying for a while. If we do decide to have another baby, like at least a minimum three months, we need to, I just really want to let my body really fully heal, get through like three full periods before we even try, um, really try and researching on like egg quality stuff and also getting the pathology results back. We are sending uh, the remains out to pathology to get that tested. So hopefully I'll get some answers um on why this baby passed as well yeah so um if there is any other thing I'm, i will hop back on here but i think that this is going to be the end of this video um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys for watching thank you guys so much for being here thank you guys for all of your love and support um i love my youtube fam you guys are the best so yeah, um, thank you for being on this journey with me, all of these journeys with me. Like this is literally my fourth loss, fourth baby loss, which is insane. I never would have imagined that this would have ever happened to me. Um, but here we are, but I also have three beautiful daughters. So, um, you know, I definitely can't complain, but this is just not something I want to keep going through. Like me and Brandon can get pregnant very easily. Like it's so easy for us to get pregnant, but now lately as you guys can see the last four times that we've gotten pregnant we've lost every single one of those babies so just emotionally physically i just don't think i can keep going through this so i really need to make a decision on if we are really going to be trying for another baby because you know i may potentially go through this all over again so I don't know you guys we'll see definitely pray for our family as we are navigating this whole entire journey and yeah but all right thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye everybody Oh, you down here turning up. Wow. Oh, ooh, that smells good. No, I can't. Oh. Thank you for letting me rest. That's what I did. That was a heck of a knockout. Did you check on me to make sure I was still breathing? I did. I went up there a couple times. I didn't even like, like I kept I'm hearing sorry, things. Still. Like, I was going, like, in and out. In and out. Mm-hmm. I'm probably not going to go to sleep tonight. Yeah, well, I don't know, because you've been up, or you've been asleep for, like, four hours. No, I'll sleep for six hours. Okay, well, yeah, no, it was something for a minute. <laughs> it was at least four. <laughs>